any of you who have been with us for a little while will know that I've been using this uh, rigid tool for the last little while and today I want to do a little bit of a review on it for you. Hello everyone, Colin Kanat here for Woodwork Web and this little belt sander slash spindle sander uh, from Rigid is a great little tool. Now before you start wondering that this, the tool may not be stable, I actually put underneath it my Versa spin, one of my Versa spins, so there's that underneath it and I put that there so that we can spin it around so that we can see the back. But first of all, what an oscillating uh, sander is. It just means that it goes up and down and this one also spins. Now the tool, this tool takes as well as the spindle, it also takes the belt. It takes a, a four inch belt and what's nice about it is you can store this on the back and of course you can see how you can store the, the uh, uh, spindles on the front and there's a variety of sizes. Now the, the installation is pretty simple. This little nut on top is a reverse thread and when you first get it you kind of wonder what's going on why it won't fit and I had to read the instructions and the instruction book for this is, is pretty good so it tells you a lot of the little things that you might be wondering so they just pop off like that there's a perfect little storage area for it right here and there's a little uh, throat that fits in there and the belt sander just drops right in and sometimes you have to move it around a little bit to get it to seat and you just tighten that down, reverse thread that back on and that's how you put change from belts to spindles, just that easy. And changing belts is very easy, there's a little lever on the top here that allows the belt to get loosened and this little knob is for adjusting the belt and you can when you put a new belt on you usually want to adjust it a little bit so it works very well I like the storage area it's great when you have everything you need in one place and remember when we spin this around this little throat for the spindles just fits right in there so it's easy to find these little circles here are for the different size, it's like a, a, a spacer for the different spindles, so if you're using the smallest spindle you would use that and it will fit in there like that. There's actually two of them that fit in there and they store right there. These little washers are again for on top of the single spindle and if for a smaller one you put on different and they they store right there as well. So everything's really handy uh, and easy to access. Now the unit itself on the side has an adjustment and you can move this by loosening off this screw and you can move this table back and forth so that if you're wanting to sand something on an angle you can actually preset that and lock it at a different angle. Now we're going to do some sanding so that you can see what this looks like and when you're using the belt this can be a little bit uh, intimidating because there's quite a bit of power here on this. The whole tool only weighs about 40 pounds uh, but it's surprising how much power there is in that and one of the things that they give you is this little tool rest and it fits on just with a, a simple little screw just like that and now when the belt is going in this direction it prevents you from going past this area so that you can get a better sanding job but let's try the tool out and see how it works now the switch on this unit is one of those that has the little safety catch in it and this one just slides in and out and the first time I was vacuuming around it I actually sucked this into my dust collector so you'll have to be careful of that mine comes off pretty easily so to turn it on and the back of the saw all 
also has a dust port, so we want to turn on our vacuum. So that's just a quick look at the belt sander. We'll put the spindle sander on in a second. But what I want to show you before we move on to that, you've probably seen these little belt erasers or, or sandpaper erasers. And if you've never tried one, they actually work very well. And if you've got a tool like this and you want to clean the belt, it's you just hold this, turn the machine on, and just watch how easy it cleans. You see, they really it do, really does work well. Now the spindles, of course, the belts are just standard belts, nothing fancy there. Uh, the spindles, I found them in packages, and you get an 80 grit and a 150 grit in both of the packages. And you can buy these at different places. I believe Home Depot sell these. Uh, I've seen these on Amazon. So there's a lot of different places that you can buy these. And there's a couple of different grits. There's not a huge variety, but for this kind of a tool, you don't need a huge variety anyway. Now just for fun, let's take off the belt and put on one of the spindles and we'll try out the spindle just so you get a little bit of an idea how quickly and easy it is to change the belts. The, the only tedious part of this whole thing is undoing this little screw at the top and remember it just stores around back here and by the way I did remove the Versa spin from underneath so, put that on, then we put the big washer on, and remember to reverse thread that, the throat plate, and that's it, that's ready to go. Now, I don't have a permanent place yet to put this in my workshop, and the tool only weighs 40 pounds. It's not very heavy. It's not bad at all. So right now, I'm just storing it under my workbench, and when I need it, I just lift it on. It's got nice feet, uh, but there are places where you can attach it. There's holes here that you can permanently attach it to uh, a bench top or something. But what's interesting is they've allowed for 2x4s so that if you wanted to use this as a portable tool uh, at a construction site or something like that, you could do that. Or if you wanted to make your own little stand for it, you could just simply use 2x4s uh, and put it on lockable wheels or something like that. Now I've only been using this little unit for about a month now but I really have to give it some pretty high ratings because I use it on almost every project that I've made so far and the tool works very well. It's easy to change the types of belts from spindle to belt um, and, and the adjustable table it allows me to do things that I normally wouldn't have done and if you've watched some of our videos you'll know that I've had a belt sander set up on side and I've got a little portable belt sander that I use from time to time and this replaces a little bit of those uh, but it doesn't replace all of them so it really just adds uh, an element of success in your woodworking that you might not have been able to achieve or that you might have been able to achieve by hand sanding uh, and this just speeds things up. So this is a tool now in my workshop that uh, I would have to give this a, a very high rating as a tool that I would want to keep 
uh, and something that if it broke down, I would want it repaired or replaced pretty quickly because I'm finding it a pretty invaluable tool. So that's our look at the rigid oscillating spindle and belt sander. Uh, we really like this tool and uh, we think you might too. I'm Colin Kinnett for Woodwork Web. Thanks for watching.